Let's prepare on the TNTRB Polytechnic Exam 2012 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question 21. Horizontal semicircular beam of radius R is fixed at the ends and carries a UDL W over its entire length. Then the bending moment at the fixed support is what? So here option D is the right answer W R square. Question 22. A cantilever beam of span L and flexural rigidity EI is subjected to a concentrated load W at the mid span. Then the slope at the free end is what? So here option C is the right answer WL square by 8 EI. So all these looks like a formula for you. So but we have to study all these slope, deflection, bending moment for different types of beams. So it is important in the strength of materials. Then question number 23, a column of rectangular cross section D units cross one unit at top is subjected to a load P in addition to its self height. Then the profile for uniform stress along its length is what? So here the answer is A, D E to the power rho x by sigma. Question 24, a threaded rod is placed inside a tube and fastened by nuts at both the ends. The picture of the thread is given as P for quarter run. So what is the advancement of the nut? So this is asked here. So here they have given for quarter run. No, So the option is P by 4 is the right answer. Question number 25. In a reinforced concrete beam, the stress in the concrete at the level of steel is measured as 6 Newton per mm square. So this is the stress in concrete. Then the modular ratio between steel and concrete is 18. Now what is the stress in the steel? So here F S by Fc is equal to M. So Fs will be equal to M into Fc that is modular ratio into stress in concrete. So the answer is 108. So option B is the answer. Question number 26. A square bar of size 20 mm cross 20 mm is subjected to a tensile direct tensile force. What is the largest tensile force for the bar can sustain if its shear strength is 100 MPa? So they have given the area and they have given the shear strength alone. Now with this we have to find the tensile force. So shear force we have to find out first. So it is 100 into 20 into 20 so that the shear strength into the area. So you are getting 40,000 Newton. So with this we have to find the tensile force. So it is 2 times the shear force. So it is 80,000 Newton. But in the options they have given the ten their question they have asked is tensile force only. But in the option they have given it in MPA. So we have to find the strength here. So, so if you want to find the strength again means it is again 80,000 by the area 20 cross 20. So we will get 200 MPA. So option C is the right answer. Question number 27. Uh, for an overhanging beam, the expression for bending moment is given as 2.5x minus 3x square by 2. Then the location of the bending moment is what? So we know that when uh, we differentiate the bending moment, we get shear force. And we also know that at the maximum bending moment, the shear force is 0. So we are going to use this concept only to find the x value here. So here m is given as 2.5x minus 3x square by 2. No? So on differentiating, we will get... 2.5 minus 3 into 2x so it is 6x by 2 so you will get 2.5 minus 3x is equal to 0 because this is your shear force and you are equating it to 0 so 2.5 is equal to 3x so x is equal to 2.5 by 3 so here option b is the right answer question number 28 the sum of the moment of inertias of two mutually perpendicular arbitrary axes is what so here it is always a constant. Question 29. The radius of curvature is d square y by dx square. Option A. Question 30. The angular twist of a shaft of radius r mm and length l mm subjected to a torque of 7 kN mm and uh, g they have given a 70 gpa okay so now we are going to substitute these values in the formula so before doing that let us see the units here it is given a 70 kilonewton mm and here in gpa they have given so gpa it is nothing but it is 10 power 3 into mpa only newton per mm square only so this 10 power 3 can be converted as kilonewton also no so we can keep it like uh, that so that it is easy to cancel these values as both the values are 70 here so let us keep both are 70 gpa only okay 
So the formula is T by J is equal to G theta by L. So as I told you the T and G are having the same value so you can neglect that both. So theta will be equal to L by J. L we can keep it as same and J you can write it as pi d power 4 by 32 is the J value. But in the options they have given in in terms of r so we have to convert this d into r so d is equal to 2r so 2r the whole power 4 will give you 16 r power 4 so in this 16 and 32 will be cancelled so you'll get 2 so answer will be 2 l by pi r power 4 so here option b is the right answer thank you and keep watching